And the whole village of Woods Hole is really oriented towards science. And we grew up as kids of scientists. I don't remember the first time I saw a horseshoe crab, but I do know that I called them limulus before I called them horseshoe crabs. <laughs> That's living in a scientific family. My father, he was very enthusiastic about science, and he was known as an educator as much as he was known as a, a researcher. I was studying platelets, and it was early in that period that Dr. Frederick Bang approached my chief and related to him the work he had done in which he demonstrated that bacteria could cause blood coagulation in the horseshoe crab and suggested that if a hematologist joined him at Woods Hole, some interesting results could be obtained. And so in the summer of 1963, I went to the Marine Biological Lab in Woods Hole to join Dr. Bang's laboratory. I have to emphasize that I had never seen a horseshoe crab in my life. Dr. Bang, without any additional explanation, told me to put my hand in the tank and grab a crab. Our goal was to draw comparisons between the human blood platelet and the blood cell in the horseshoe crab. But when I started to handle the blood of Limulus, it clotted very rapidly, and I was absolutely stumped and stuck. Was at that point, I realized that I had a very powerful and practical mechanism for detection of bacterial endotoxin. Dad understood exactly what the importance of it was, but I don't think the general scientific community understood the importance of it for a long time. Slowly, the test became accepted to be reliable and specific for endotoxin. The impact of the limulus test and its ultimate major use in the pharmaceutical industry has been extraordinary and beyond anything I ever considered. It is the gold standard for endotoxin detection throughout the world. The ability to measure in a precise way the amount of endotoxin in things we are exposed to every day has a societal benefit that I think few people recognize. We are where we're at today in large part because of their good work. I think that my work is an excellent example of the importance of conducting and supporting basic biological research, even when there's no obvious practical benefit at the time the studies are started. The history of investigative science indicates that early failure is a common feature of many discoveries which turned out to be very important. <laughs>